The BP Assist app is available for uh, iPhones and for Android devices. You can find those in the respective stores. Uh, you'll also find links for that if you go to statenislandusa.com slash BP Assist. And what I'm going to do is going to walk through some <clears throat> screen shares that I took yesterday from, uh, from my phone to show what the app does. And um, when you first download the app, you can, again, you can also search it in the, um, in the app stores to find it with BP Assist. You will uh, see this screen. It's going to prompt you to uh, allow the app to find your location. That's important. Make sure you say yes to that because it will um, pick up your location when you're reporting issues, so you don't have to type it in. It's just going to find you. Um, secondly, it's going to ask if you want to accept notifications. You want to do that too, because when you receive updates for service requests that you've sent through to the Borough President's Helpline, uh, you will get updates there. And then you'll also get updates uh, for uh, other emergency situations or other uh, news information that is being put out by the Bur Borough President's Office. Um, so say yes to that as well. And then you'll be brought here to this main screen. And You'll see uh, there's a couple different items here on the screen. Um, the first one is the new request. We'll get to that last. But, but there's a lot of other information that the borough president is sharing with the community about um, all sorts of different things. And these are all links that are updated, that will be updated frequently with lots of information to share with residents. Um, holiday information, sanitation, uh, all sorts of information to share. Um, for example, if you were this was a live app, you would press on join our mailing list and it's going to bring you to email newsletter registration. You go back to the top and you can choose, uh, you want to see the latest news, you can see the latest news from here um, right within the app. And it puts all of the information together in one place on smartphones where, um, where a lot of people are spending their time now anyway. Um, just showing a couple other examples here. So we have the call us button. The call us button is um, another way. So if you don't want to submit a request through, um, through the app, you want to actually talk to someone, you can call the uh, borough president's office by pressing on that button and you're, instead of searching for that number, you'll be able to call directly from the app. And similarly, there's also another list of um, other contact information for the borough. Uh, included within the app as well. So two presses of the app and you're ready to go and calling whoever, um, whoever you need to contact in the borough. And um, lastly, scrolling down to the bottom, if you are a visitor to Staten Island and you download the app, you'll be able to see um, information about what's going on nearby um, from, the, uh, from the neighborhood guides that are available here as well. So the real um, kind of meat of the app is the ability to submit requests through the, um, through the app directly to the helpline staff to answer your questions and to submit requests for service. So with the uh, new request button, you will be brought to a list of request types that have been set up by the uh, borough president's office to, uh, that are relevant to the borough. And for example, let's say I'm out walking my dog at night and I see that one of the corners, there's a street light that looks like it's either dark or actually there's not even a street light there. I want to request a new street light. So I can choose that from the list. It's gonna give me some more options about the street light. So I want to request an additional street light. It's gonna pick up my location. And if I wanted to, uh, if maybe I was reporting something on my way to work and it, I wasn't actually at the location of the request, I could also override that location and type in my address as well. Um, so I've got my location and it's going to give me more information or it's going to ask me for more information to provide to the borough president's office so that can help expedite my request without a lot of back and forth communication. I can get all the information out right, uh, right at once. And at the, uh, so I also have the ability here to add a photo of the request. So I could take a picture of that really dark corner or uh, you know, street flooding or potholes or a downed tree limb, whatever you see, you can take a picture right there with your smartphone. And I'm gonna also answer the questions about my request. 
Um, so in this case, I want to request a new street light, so I'm gonna click yes on that. And then I can also provide a description to the, uh, to the office staff so they have all the information that they need um, in order to process this request. And um, before I hit submit, I'm also given the ability to change the privacy on my request. So if I wanted only, only borough staff to see my request, uh, I want them to know about it, but I don't want other users to browse and see my request. I can make sure that it goes directly to them without other, uh, other residents seeing the request uh, on the page um, and pins, and I'll show you where that gets displayed on the website. Um, so within, in this case, I'm gonna leave it public, and then I'm gonna click Submit. It's gonna prompt me to create a new account with public stuff, and that account make sure that I get all of the right notifications. So I'm gonna receive an email notification on my uh, email account that the borough has received my request. It's going to uh, provide me with the ability to receive those push notifications from the borough about traffic problems or uh, emergency information uh, to uh, provide me with places to avoid or where, wherever I need to um, be. And um, I'll also be able to log in and track all of my requests in a single list um, with this here. And um, after I'm done with that, I'm gonna get a confirmation message pop up on my phone. I'm gonna get an email about it. And uh, my request submission is done. What happens on the staff side is that there's a new, um, new request that goes through to the staff side of public stuff. And they uh, receive that email and then they work for you to process that request. And uh, once they've processed that request, it's going to uh, send emails to me as a resident that uh, they've received my request, that they've commented on my request, and I'm gonna get that my phone buzzing whenever any of that happens um, for this request. And um, for residents who don't have smartphones or uh, prefer to work on the web, there is also the option to uh, report requests at statenislandusa.com slash bpassist, and that will um, give residents another option to submit requests. Um, works in the same way as, as the mobile app, you're gonna receive the same notifications. Um, and of course, the helpline number is also available as well if, uh, if you need to uh, call directly in. When there is important information and I underscore the word important, we have the ability to get that out. Last week, I think it was, when we closed, uh, we closed Rockland Avenue for three or four hours to do a major cleanup. We posted it on Facebook, Chris, five times, six times? Yeah, just getting the word out, you know, getting the word out. That's an, that's an example of when we would use that push notification. I, we are not gonna use a notification to let you know that tomorrow is Thursday. We're not gonna be, um, you know, like um, the, 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 uh, the phone calls, the telemarketers, where they're just so annoying. We're gonna use that feature very judiciously, but when a street is closed because of uh, a terrible accident, when uh, a school is closed, when there's something that is, we have that ability to communicate if you sign up for it. That, that's a, 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 an important point. 